This is again 3.4 day one, and we're now gonna look at some condensing of the log properties. One thing to keep in mind about condensing, as we saw in the first example, is that we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna use the power rule first when condensing. So I'm gonna rewrite that hip here at the top. Power rule first. And this is again just due to the fact, order of operations, how, how we use that. And another thing I'll mention about condensing is that we're trying to get to a single log expression with this. One of the most common mistakes I see every year is that people will get to the end of a condensing problem and you'll see a bunch of logs all over the place. You might see uh, log of 2x over log of 4y and there, there's just there's multiple logs in there and that's not the point with condensing. The point with condensing is to make a single log expression. So I'm going to also put that over here. A single log expression is the key in this case. So that's what condensing mean is, means is that we wanna have a single log expression when all is said and done. Uh, same, same properties still apply, we're just gonna be going the opposite direction. So if we have plus, that corresponds to multiplication and so this can just be turned into log of six x y or write them in any order that you want to but that's really all there is to it on this one. For this second one, it is, again, subtraction goes with division, and so then we get log of 2x over 4y. Remember, there is only one log. That's, we're condensing it. It has a single log expression. The only other thing you can do with this one, really, is simplify the fraction. 2 over 4 goes to 1 over 2, and so we can change this to log of x over 2y. Okay, so that is something that we can finish with for number two. Number three, again, use the power rule first. That's the key for condensing. So you'll notice that we've got a four and a two sitting out here in front. So we're gonna put the four up on the x, we're gonna put the two up on the y first. That's using the power rule first. So ln of x to the fourth plus ln y squared. We're moving those exponents up onto their results. Then we can use the product rule, combine those together, and so that will be ln of x to the fourth y squared. And that would be our final result for this one. Okay, so there's number three. Uh, number four as last time, the most complicated of the examples, we're gonna see if we can condense this. Again, first of all, we're gonna put the exponents up here. We're gonna use the power rule first. So that means I'm gonna change this to ln of x squared y cubed, raise that to the fifth power. And then we have ln of x y to the third. Make sure you put these outside of the parentheses for now because we're gonna have to distribute those in. When we have the power of a power, remember that we distribute in and we're gonna be multiplying. So this means that we will be giving, a, it will be giving us x squared to the fifth, so that's two times five. So x to the 10th, then it'll be three times five here, y to the 15th. Next. LN, this one's pretty simple, it's just you distribute the three, so x to the third, y to the third. Now we're gonna combine these using the product rule, getting it down to a single log expression. And so now when you multiply powers, remember that is adding the exponents. So x to the 13th and y to the 18th. And that's gonna be our most condensed version of number four. So those are just a bunch of examples of condensing. We had the expanding ones before, and now we're gonna finish up in the next couple examples with some change of base formula.